All right, so now we're on to a dressing, actually a company. Um, this is actually going to be homemade mayonnaise. You can, of course, buy mayonnaise at any store. Um, and, of course, there's different brands as well. But making homemade mayonnaise is just, for me, it might take about three to four minutes, maybe five minutes. Um, it lasts for about three days. Yet, with that being said, you know where the mayonnaise come from, comes from, excuse me. But also with that, it's fresh. So there are no preservatives in it. So let's start off. Uh, what I have in a bowl, a rather larger size bowl, is going to be four egg yolks. Uh, what I'm going to add to that is going to be a little bit of salt. We have apple cider vinegar, and then again, a neutral oil. Uh, the reason for the vinegar is to help temper the eggs. Um, and then also for the neutral oil is that we don't want to incorporate so much flavor into mayonnaise. Uh, mayonnaise needs to be, again, more of an accompaniment. And if you want to add any other flavor base to which we are going to add flavors to it, you need to start with this base first. Um, and just to let you know, you will whisk it for a little bit of time. So I hope you have both arm muscles ready to go. So that being said, we're going to start off. Now the eggs are incorporated a little bit, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to that, whisk that in, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, I'm not going to add all of it, just about a tablespoon and a half, whisk that in, because again what we're doing now is building the flavor base for the mayonnaise. And whenever you add it, it is going to be a little bit thin, and that's what you're shooting for. Here again, neutral oil. So, whenever you're making a vinaigrette, kind of same thing with the mayonnaise. At times, you want to drizzle the oil, but if you don't have another hand and you're not whisking properly and you're going in circles, you can see what your bowl is going to be doing. So, we're going to start a little bit at a time. And make sure, make sure that the oil. Incorporated. And what that means is, is that as you add oil, you'll look on the sides of the bowl. And if you don't see any more oil, then guess what? The oil is incorporated. Alright, and it is going to start off thin and get thicker over time. Thicker and thicker and thicker. And I'm getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Because again, as always, you can use a great thing called a machine. We're seeing that we are teaching the basics here. We want you to let you know how you do it. So you don't have a machine. It's got a little bit of hard work. Like mayonnaise, gotta add a little bit of salt. All right, so sometimes with your mayonnaise, maybe you want to add a little bit of extra kick to it. Um, what can you do to that? I love making a spicy mayonnaise, aka a sriracha mayonnaise. So all you have to do is with your mayonnaise base, add a little bit of sriracha to a bowl. Scoop in, guess what? Your homemade mayonnaise. Spin it around with a spoon. Taste, of course. And then if you like it and the spicy level is good, you have sriracha mayonnaise. Now another great mayonnaise that I love doing is also a black pepper mayonnaise. And I like doing the black pepper mayonnaise with, guess what, a BLT sandwich. You can never go wrong with it. So first and foremost, we got a little bit of sriracha. Just gonna square it a little bit. We're gonna do about one tablespoon. And now I'm going to spoon in 
four tablespoons of mayonnaise. Okay, so let's go ahead and do five tablespoons. And then all you have to do with that is literally spin it around. You'll see the color change. And when people say they don't like mayonnaise, they haven't tasted good mayonnaise. That's the thing. It's spicy, it's good. Again, salt, I'm a big salt fanatic. You gotta add salt to everything. And with that, it will congeal whenever you go into the refrigerator. And now with the black pepper, we're gonna do half a teaspoon of black pepper. With our mayonnaise as well. Gonna do another five teaspoons, five tablespoons, excuse me. And spin that around. Also spinning with the back of the spoon, the tip, and taste that, black pepper mayo. So now you got two different variations of mayonnaise, maybe a little bit spicy for both, um, but very, very good.